Hi, yesterday somebody came with a blood pressure monitor and it has two problems. The secondary problem was uh, I have to clean the battery chamber. The main problem was there was no problem. So I want to talk about it. First, let's see how I cleaned the battery chamber and later let's see why I wanted to talk about it. This unit has the pump and the valves. Here is one of the electrical valves that will release the air. Do not mess with this because this one has calibration. So there is nothing we should touch there without the right equipment. For the service, there is a white dot here that we must clean at the end. Okay, so far there is not any damage here because the battery is leaking. They didn't get on the printer circuit board, so I will not open it more than this. I will assume this device is good. As I said, it compares the pressure in an electrical signal to be interpreted by the processor. In biomedical electronics we use the name transducers for this kind of devices. Now, I assume it's good because I already made several measurements before recording this video and all of them there were alike. So, let's go with the fixing. I already, I already removed the small particle there.
I want you to pay attention to the following thing. The keyboard has three buttons. Here we got some extra buttons. They could be for another functions in the upper model or for programming. So if you're going to deal with a device like this, remember always to remove the power. Remember, the screen is very fragile if you make pressure on it.
follow the instructions as they are given. The holes must be in front and at least two to three centimeters, about one inch, because you can turn down. Try to put your arm in just one position. Sometimes it's good to stay in the same position and make about three measurements. Okay, the battery is gone. Number two. And number three. Let's compare the results. This is what I wanted to talk about. We know blood pressure should be 120 over 80, that's what we call the ideal blood pressure. Higher than 140 over 90 is called high blood pressure and has several consequences like heart attack, uh, strolls, uh, damage to the, your kidneys. Uh, I'm using this uh, graphic. I didn't make this graphic, I just took it from this uh, website as example because it's very well done. On the right side I have a table with 10 readings that I perform to myself as measurements from the equipment we are talking about. And I make an average from it and from the average I took the plus minus uh, with respect of the high measurement to the lower for systolic, diastolic um, I took the higher uh, error margin and I can say uh, from 10 readings I am under or almost plus minus 5% of uh, each one in my opinion this equipment is good the reason why I wanted to talk to you about it is because I think the one who is bad is not uh, equipment, is the user. And if you remember when I performed three measurements to myself, the equipment went on the screen, screen to 160. After that, it went down to take the measurements from, from my, uh, me. 
If the user has a high blood pressure higher than 160, they will not get any measurement. <clears throat> the little valve that I showed you in the video when we took it apart, uh, the equipment, I said, uh, let's do not touch it if because it, it has a calibration, so don't, don't mess with it. Okay, increasing the valve, we will go higher on these numbers. The idea is to not increase it, I will tell you why. Somebody who has a blood pressure in 160 or higher should be in the hospital with medical attention and not at home making instruments with this uh, equipment. Uh, from what I did here and my experience in biomedical electronics, uh, the problem is the patient probably is out of the range of this uh, equipment and requires medical attention. I will remind all of you guys, biomedical electronics requires to study anatomy and physiology in one university or a very well certified academic center for two, four years or more. So don't try to perform uh, fixings in biomedical equipment if you are not certified for it. Why? Because you need to know if the equipment is good, if the equipment is bad, or same criteria than a doctor, if the patient is good or if the patient is bad. And working with ideal numbers in theory is good, but let's remember whoever is using medical equipment most of the time is because the person is already sick. And in my opinion, this equipment is good, probably the user has a very very high blood pressure and I will have to talk with them I will recommend them to pay more attention to it anyhow I will keep the equipment one extra day to perform more tests on it thanks by watching it